I joined the webinar. Uh, I think it was VG who took the, the webinar, and I told him it's too good to be true. It's not possible. Uh, I was prepped, hundred percent prepped, everything ready, all the documents ready, rejections as well there. It's not just the acceptance. Questions are mostly why are you going there? Why US? But I was thrown out by a question asking that you're earning so much here. Then why do you want to go? I was not prepared. I was a little nervous to be honest. Myself, Subramanya. I am from Bangalore. I did my undergrad here uh, in telecommunication engineering. A lot of data. and analytics is what people talk about today i mean earlier it was only talk talk but now it's more about data so i think that made me choose analytics as my career so i've been associated with accenture for 6 years now i mean initially i was in a startup which got acquired by accenture and i've been into data science for last 6 years this is a i mean dramatical scene to be honest so i, I was preparing for my gmat for an year or so and i gave my gmat for the first time with the hope to get more than 700 which is a dream for most of the people but i ended up getting 550 i came back home and i got this ad on whatsapp so this is like i i mean you don't know fortune probably i got the i mean i just followed the webinar and again i was very skeptical so i joined the webinar uh, i think it was vg who took the webinar and i told him it's too good to be true it's not possible uh, then he asked me to go and do a research and i did that i spoke to someone in case western where i'm going right now uh he's a senior that gave me a little confidence but again i was still skeptical with so many things to offer right the whether it's scholarship or whether it's this dual program where you'll do 30% of your course in iit which would reduce your uh, fees significantly tuition fees at least so i was always skeptical about it i mean till now i cannot believe it's true but yeah it's it's a very fantastic journey to be honest so yeah there are three uh, universities which i chose for again business analytics was some the course which i was looking for so university of buffalo case western stony brook uh, so again with bad gmat experience i didn't i did want to keep a backup so case western was always there in the back of the mind but i thought let me apply for all the three and see how it goes and fortunately i got into all three uh, but uh, i had to choose case due to the ranking plus as well as the curriculum they have so that's how i chose case the visa process i mean especially the preparation is really important but you also have peer pressure it 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 happens in a group so you know i mean few of them would be very comfortable with english and very comfortable with the with this questions i guess i mean they would have answered this multiple times so initially the journey was to prep myself to all of these and uh, future ins definitely helped me there but again i was i was skeptical i was asking more questions to my counselor than he asked i mean him asking me so that's where <laughs> it started but uh, during the process as well I, i was a little nervous to be honest i was prepped 100% prepped everything ready all the documents ready i mean i had i had all my answers ready but still i was uh, a little nervous and standing in the queue that's that makes you you know more Uh, nervous so and you see a lot of rejections as well there it's not just the acceptance so i was a little nervous before going into the into my i mean i was waiting for my turn and once i got into there i think it was okay so the kind of questions i got i mean generally the questions are mostly why are you going there why us why this university but i was thrown out by a question asking that you're earning so much here then why do you want to go i was not prepared for that i had no clue what i answered till date but somehow i managed that question i guess but otherwise more or less it was around in and around like why business analytics why case western and why the scores and why us so that was mostly it